Hi, I'm Steve from Drager and I'll be showing you how to replace an electrochemical sensor in a Polytron 8100. The procedure is virtually identical when using a Polytron 7000 as well as a Point Guard 2100. Please note that if the detector is located in a hazardous area, the area does not need to be decommissioned when replacing the sensor. Please also note to consult the manual before proceeding. When replacing the sensor in a Polytron 8100 device, the device will go into maintenance mode and transmit a signal below 4 milliamps. If the detector is connected to a Regard 7000 controller, the controller will recognize that the transmitter is in maintenance mode and will not alarm or fault. However, if you are connected to any other controller other than a Regard 7000, please be sure that that controller understands signals below 4 milliamps. So now we're going to show you how to replace a sensor uh, on a Polytron 8100. Uh, it's fairly simple. All we have to do is go through the menu and tell the unit that we want to replace our sensor. So in order to do that, we touch and hold the down arrow until the password comes up. And then we're going to put in a password of two for configuration. That's the default configuration password. And we're going to go to settings, choose sensor, and we're going to choose to change our sensor. Okay, so once we hit OK, it'll ask us to remove the sensor. So we're going to remove the retaining ring, pull the sensor out. Now, during this time period, you can see that there's a new icon on the, in the right hand corner which is a uh, wrench and that wrench is telling us that the unit is in maintenance mode so it's transmitting a signal below 4 milliamps. So if it's connected to a controller like a Regard 7000 that controller should be able to recognize that the unit is in maintenance mode and not set off any alarms. If you are connected to any other controller other than a Regard 7000 please make sure that it understands signals below 4 milliamps so it doesn't go into a fault or an alarm condition during this process. So now we're going to put in a, a new sensor. It, as long as we're putting in the same sensor with the same part number, um, it will retain the, um, the configuration. The Polytron 8100 will not change any of the configuration. So now we'll put in a new CO sensor with the same part number. So our database has been loaded. We can go back to the main menu. The top level menu. You can hit, keep hitting up arrow until the menu that says back to measure is selected. You can say OK. And now our unit is warming up, or new sensor is warming up. Now we're good to go. So then we replace our retaining ring. And we're done. So one feature that's useful on the uh, Polytron 8100 as well as the other smart detectors such as the Polytron 7000 and the Point Guard 2100 is that if you are using a particular sensor or using a bunch of different electrochemical sensors and you're afraid that someone is going to come by and replace the sensor with something different, you don't want to lose that information, uh, there is a sensor lock feature on the unit and that's what we'll show you. So if we go through the menu again. going to put in a password of two to get back to our configuration menu. And we're going to go to settings, sensor, and we're going to choose sensor lock. And we're going to enable it. We're going to go back to our menu. And now we're going to change our sensor. So now we're going to do an example of changing the sensor to something other than our carbon monoxide sensor, which is what is in here now. In other words, a different part number sensor. So we're going to change sensor. <coughs> now you can see the difference between changing the sensor before we turned on the sensor lock and after. It is now asking us to put in a specific part number sensor in. And let's say by mistake we're, we put in a, an oxygen sensor instead of a carbon monoxide sensor.
So there, it's telling us it's the wrong part number. We can either redo the sensor uh, replacement and put in the correct sensor, or if we do want to put in the oxygen sensor instead of the carbon monoxide sensor, we have to go back into the menu tree and turn off sensor lock, at which point it will accept the oxygen sensor. Otherwise, we have to remove the sensor or we just say redo. It's gonna tell us to remove that sensor and we're gonna put in our oxygen or our carbon monoxide sensor. That should now accept it. Okay, the database has been loaded. We can get out of the menu. Go back to measurement mode. And now we have about 13 seconds for the first stage warm up, and we should be good to go. The only thing is, don't forget to put the retaining ring back on. And we're done. Thank you for watching. If you have any further questions, please contact our technical support center, and please also watch our other videos in the Polytron series.